Yes, so today we are looking at character traits, not character traits, <laughs> adaptation traits and behaviors. So traits are a feature of living things. So eye and hair color are example of traits. Um, it's how we know what things are. So we know a tiger is a tiger by their traits. Like we know that they have stripes, they have fur, they have ears and paws. So when we see a tiger, what we're seeing is their traits. So some traits are inherited. So the traits that you get from your parents. Um, so in animals, the eye color, the fur color, and the face shape. So pandas get their black and white color from their parents. They get what they look like from their parents. In plants, apple trees get the ability to make apples from their parents or the seeds that they were, came from. So traits are adaptations to help the organism survive. Can anyone think of why a panda might be black and white? How would this help them to survive? It might help them camouflage. Caitlin? <laughs> yeah, it might help them blend into their surroundings. Okay. So horses inherit legs that help them run fast. Um, so if they have really fast run leg zebra parents, then they'll have fast run legs. And so offspring can have traits from both parents. And some traits do not show in the parents, but do appear in the offspring. And then there's learn traits. So these are traits, things that you look like that don't come from your parents, but you develop later. So they're not passed from parent to offspring and organisms can be changed by their environment. So if you start writing with pencils for too long, you might notice that your fingers start to get calluses or get little bumps if you write for a long time. Has anybody ever had calluses, Zayden? Yeah, Caitlin's giving me a thumbs up. Katie's giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, so that is a learned trait because you weren't born with those. You got them from writing too much, but it does change the way your finger looks. So that's an example of a learned trait. Behaviors, Zayden, do you have a question? Instead of on my fingers, Thing, mm -hmm. they just stick together. Oh, they stick together? Yeah, that's a trait. Mm -hmm, it's how your hand looks. Yeah, so trait can be your hair color, your eye color. My fingers don't stick together. But yeah, your nails, so that can be a learned trait if you start growing your nails out. Okay, so now we're going to look at behaviors. So traits were what you look like or what the animal looks like behaviors is what the animals are doing so behaviors is the actions what you do so spiders building webs that's a behavior they do cora are you scared should i switch the slide <laughs> oh, spiders are creepy but they're good because they eat bugs and like birds building nests that's a behavior that the birds do we're going to look at how we get our behaviors. So inherited behaviors, just like you can get traits from your parents, you can learn behaviors from your parents. So birds learn how to build nests um, by inheriting that behavior. So they're born knowing that I'm a bird, someday I'm going to build a nest, and there you go. They didn't, they inherited it. They, um, in animals, they call it instinct. They're just born knowing how to be a bird. Um, but yeah, like spiders are born already knowing how to make a web. 
whereas we are not born learning how to tie our shoes. We have to learn that later. So inherited behaviors are things that you are born and you just know that you need to do it. So like spiders building webs, birds being birds. Now there's behaviors that we have to learn and those are learned behaviors. <laughs> Aren't those cute little prairie dogs? So learned behaviors occur when an experience leads to a change in how the animal acts. So most animals can change how they respond to their environment. So um, prairie dogs learn from the other prairie dogs when to go and run into the hole. They learn from other, their other animals, they learn from watching others, and it changes their behavior. There's uh, polar bears, there's one group of polar bears in the whole world that has learned how to hunt whales. So they have learned this behavior. They don't know how, besides that they learned and practiced with each other, but they go and sit on rocks in the middle of the ocean and hunt whales. Well, no other polar bears do this. So it was a learned behavior that this group of polar bears learned how to do. They weren't born knowing how to do it. They had to learn how to do it. Zayden? Why is there two of you? Well, because I have to record my myself for my school. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. Caitlin? Are polar bears born knowing how to catch seals? Yes. So that's inherited. Well, it can be both. They're born knowing that they need to eat, but then they watch their parents hunt and they learn how to hunt from their parents. So they're born, they're in, their instinct is to go out and hunt for food. But they have to learn from their parents how to do that. Uh, right, so yeah, animals learn their behaviors by watching others when they're learning. But animals also learn behaviors through life experiences. All right, so today, I wanted to make sure we had enough time to work on our creatures. So I'm going to give you some time. We need to be writing our explanations. I saw a lot of really great animals or creatures, but we need to make sure we're writing explanations that explain why they adapted or, or how they adapted. So a lot of people um, had animals that blended in. So camouflage is a good word to use for that or mimicry, remember our vocab words, that we need to make sure we're explaining why and how that they live in that ecosystem. But I did see a lot of great creatures that I'm excited about. Isabella? A little surprise, perfect. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you all some time to work on those so that we can present them or whoever wants to present can present. Shayla? I was really so like to write to my teacher like something. Um, I actually kind of have that because I write too much. I have that. Okay, great. Yeah. And if you want to go back, add some more color to your animals. Some uh, Someone wrote a really good description of an animal, but I don't remember if they colored a picture of it. So make sure you have a picture and an explanation for why your animal lives in their ecosystem how the animal lives in the ecosystem. Jalen? What if we already finished our animal and turned it in? Um, go back and just look and see if there's any facts that you can add. Um, I saw all the ones turned in, and I think we could probably add some vocabulary words, explanations. But Jalen, I really liked your animal, or your creature. It's cute. Zayden? Um, like every day, um, mom says to um, throw away our papers and my so that we put them back in the way. Oh, that's all right. Um, would you like me to, if you turned it in, I can put it on the screen and you could screenshot it and then kind of start it? All right, I'll try to find that in a second. Jordan? 
question? Yes. I have to restart mine because I left my paper at my mom's house. That's okay. That's why I'm giving you giving you some time to work on it. So you can start coloring and explaining. And then for those that are ready pre to present and want to share their animal, we'll do that in a little bit. Um, but if you are finished with your animal, you think it's great, you're done. Uh, I want you to come up with some questions. We have a surprise guest for science tomorrow. And I want you to come up with some questions that maybe you would ask someone that works with animals. Isabella? You've started coloring? That's great. Yeah, we're going to have um, probably 10 minutes to continue working on our creatures. And then whoever wants to present their creature will have time for that. But if you write this second, you think you're finished with your creature, you've explained it, then I want you to start thinking of questions that you might ask our surprise guest. Shayla? Um, I left my creature, like, in one of my folders, and actually, I, I have an art folder where I keep, like, some arts and all that. Mm -hmm. I think I left it. Um, do you want me to find the one that you turned in and share it on the screen? You can add to it, or I'm about to share Zayden's real quick. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I think never mind. Just get it. Oh, you get you get it. Okay. So Zayden, here's what you turned in. Oop. Is that good? Can you see that? You got it, Zayden. Perfect. Okay. So another hand, Caitlin. What could you start your first sentence with? For your creature? You could yeah. say, this is the, fill in the name of your creature. You're like, it is found in the, fill in the ecosystem. And then you could say, it has adapted to camouflage with the trees in the rainforest. Or you could say, it grew these spiky wings so that it could avoid predators and survive in its ecosystem. You want to kind of name your creature, tell us what it has that's totally unique. All the ones I saw turned in yesterday were very unique. Very good job, everybody. <laughs> Jordan? Can you, like, uh, can you, like, make up our own animal? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just pretending we discovered an okay. animal that no one's ever seen before. I was making sure because I was I was writing about my animal, and I said my animal is a spiked cat. Ooh, cool. We got a lot of cat fans here. I like it. <laughs> Miss Tucker doesn't like cats. <laughs> Jalen, you have a question? Yes. Um, so if we're done and we think everything is good, do you think of questions? Yes. So we have a scientist, surprise scientist coming in tomorrow. And so if you want to think of some questions, um, I'll just tell you that they work with animals and... That's all I'll tell you. I won't give it away. So it'll be a surprise. So think of questions that you might ask someone that works with animals. Shayla? I have a question. Is she like a vet or something? Oh, that could be a good question. We can ask her that. Or um, him. Also, <laughs> also wait, um, yeah, it's more of like the weekend. Not Maybe quite. The, weekend. the last day of the week. Not quite the weekend, but the last day of the week. Zayden? Um, 